Hey guys, this is Ash here from the Network Studios for the third time as I kept running out of storage on my recording device. Welcome to the first episode of Building the Music Studio. God, I'm getting sick of saying that now. So if you guys don't know what this series is, basically I'm transforming my shed in my backyard into a music studio slash kind of chill out room or chill out place where we can come here, I can record MC tracks, I can um, just chill out with Wi-Fi in here, I can invite some people over, chill, have a few beers, um, even do some stuff for Network Studios in here. And basically what's going to go down is, is I need to transform this whole thing. And that's exactly what I have started to do this week with a lot of help from my nan and granddad today. So I know they probably won't be able to see this video, but... If for whatever reason they got to see this video, then a huge shout out to them. Because they've been absolutely amazing while I've been at work today, just helping me get started. Um, and basically, it has now started. So, what I've been doing today is I've been starting a little bit of the painting. Now, I've been painting the top because we're going to be putting a gutter along the top. Now, the reason why we're doing that is because when it rains, water runs inside... It runs down onto this ledge right here. I won't touch it because the paint uh, might still be just a bit wet. And it runs inside and causes damp. Now, I am going to show you something a little bit disgusting in a moment. Um, just, well, right now. <clears throat> so, uh, mould has been coming in from the damp. You can see there right there mold has been coming in so what we're having to do is we've had to rip a panel off uh, you know one of these white panels and um, which you see heading around the building and basically what we're having to do is let it dry and then we're going to put a brand new piece here so a brand new piece is going to go ahead and be placed um, in place of this one. We're getting a new carpet, by the way. And that's pretty much what we're doing um, at the moment. So these videos aren't going to come regular like every single day. But they're not going to have like three month or two month gaps in between them. They're going to come sort of maybe once a week, maybe. Um, just whenever a, a decent a bit of work gets done. I'll probably make a video explaining what i've done uh, this video is probably going to be one of the longest videos in the series because i'm kind of explaining my initial plans for this place and i'm kind of just showing you what i've got started and explaining <clears throat> about the series so we have an outside light here and basically um we're going to take that down we're going to put an mc noble neon sign here um, when I can find some way to order one or get one. It's not priority on the list, but there's no harm in having a look just to see where you get them from. So putting the sign here is a good idea with neon because we've already got the supply for the lighting system to make the light light up. And the good news is, if I go ahead switch this master switch on, you can see there that it actually works we actually have a light here so you guys will be pretty pleased to know that we have light which is very good because that's what you need um, so that means that the you know the electric to that light is completely fine there's no issues with it there's no having to trace out the the wiring cables just take the light off fit the new sign Bada bing, bada boom. Good news. So I've been painting today, like I said, and I'll just um, quickly show you here what paint we used. So there we go. I actually used the autumn gold, which is very nice. It'll definitely look good um, when it's been painted more. So my initial plan is for the future. Um, I'll also just show you the side here. Um, when it gets painted, when we get the gutter put up, um, the next initial plan is to rip out the inside. So when the whole 
outside has been made to look nice you know painted we're going to rip out the inside so everything what's in here take the carpets up and we're going to basically work on fixing the inside and <clears throat> making the inside look a lot better but i'm just going to go ahead and show you around the back because the back is where we come to a bit more of an issue now it's not an issue what's gonna you know ruin the series but we need to do a lot more sorting out here than you think with the back um here here damp very damp so it needs to dry we need to wire brush it all down and then we're going to give it a coat of paint by the way they're the aerial ladders not that that really matters but i'm pretty sure you get the point so that is my initial plans so once this all gets painted down the gutter gets put up um, we get all the outside painted looking nice we rip the inside out and then when the inside's been you know ripped out and we've just got the empty shed we start working we start you know we start painting we start ordering new carpets we start making it look nice obviously getting rid of the mold and the damp and all of that and then you know after that it's the fun and interesting part of deciding where the new things are gonna go the nice stuff the music studio equipment stuff so what my initial plan is for this is we have a dedicated area where i will stand and do the mc now bearing in mind this shed's not as big as you think um but it actually looks bigger when there's nothing in it <clears throat> so if you take and get rid of um a ton of stuff from the inside um it actually looks a lot bigger than you actually think but also um it's still not a huge shed so we want a dedicated area for MCing a corner where i can stand with me studio mic and record tracks also where i can just stand at mc as well when i'm recording with my ipad um what i would potentially like <coughs> is some speaker systems which will run the music in this place so you know i can kind so what i want is some speakers what i can connect to my decks what i can connect to my phones my uh, tablets and some proper decent size speakers i want an area probably in this corner where i can put me decks me dj decks where i can stand and where i can just basically do a bit of mixing um that type of thing and um, i also want like uh, you know some disco lights and that hung up and then basically what i want to do then is have another little desk maybe in this corner where i can sit and work on like a computer or a laptop and then what my initial plan is is just in the middle here we can just have a tv or something there or somewhere where we can just you know keep something nice we might even be able to put a little tv on the wall or something who knows it's early days yet but that's the whole thrill and fun of the series so that has been episode one guys if you do have any questions please leave them down in the comment section down below and uh, we shall see you in the next episode of building the ultimate music studio peace out guys